hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be working in my wildflower sketchbook if you've been following me on instagram you'll know that for this year i've been keeping a sketchbook um, that's uh, in which i have been noting details and drawing wildflowers that i see around me so today um, i'll show you how i work on a sketchbook page and so this is a wildflower that i found uh, growing in my apartment complex uh, the problem here is that i have not yet been able to identify this uh, wildflower but uh, but uh, but that that's good that you know i've chosen this plant to add to my sketchbook uh, because uh, to identify this plant at a later date, I would like to add as many details as possible uh, right now. So I'm going to begin by measuring out the flower, which was the most eye-catching uh, feature of this plant for me. If you would like to know how I uh, measure uh my botanical subjects to draw more accurately there's another video on my channel that you can check out but for now i am using this divider and i'm going and i've measured the flower and i'm going to sketch it out now uh you'll also see that i measure the the sub parts of the flower to make my drawing more accurate and have the proportions um right So now I'll add the colors to this flower. Um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that uh, the mediums I use most often are graphite and colored pencils. But uh, but for my sketchbook work, I like to use watercolors. There are a couple of reasons for that. The first is that uh, with watercolors, I find the mixing to be much quicker than it would be for colored pencils. Um, also, uh, working in detail with colored pencils can be a tad bit tedious. It's a, it's a time taking process to keep sharpening the pencils again and again. Um, so I find that, uh, that doing some quick sketchbook work is easier for me uh, when I'm using watercolors. So again, it's a personal preference and anybody can work in whatever mediums they choose. Um, I usually work in my sketchbooks with watercolor and with graphite as well. So now I'm going to sketch out this little part of the plant in its entirety in the sense that I'm going to be adding uh, the leaves, how they grow from the stem, uh, where the new buds are attached, how the flowers are attached. So I'm going to note down all of this information. It would be helpful for me uh, in the future if I decide to do a proper painting for this flower, for this plant or if you know at a future date hopefully I'm able to identify um, this, this plant so I need all of these information and since I wanted to keep it a quick um, quick process I'm going to leave this part in graphite I already have an idea of the color uh, because I drew the flower and the sepal so I have an idea of the kind of green that is uh, there in this plant so I'm not going to be adding color to this stem I'm just going to leave it with graphite and do some little bit of tonal um, uh, you know uh, study to give it some shape and form So when I'm studying a plant for my sketchbook, I often also like to dissect the flower 
and look at it a little bit more closely now this is really up to uh, up to the person who's doing this it's up to the artist because uh, it, it it really depends on how you approach your art i have lately become more interested in the botany the science of it so i like to dissect the flower and see uh, you know what's inside it and what's happening so here i've used a botan uh, a dissecting needle and uh, and while i can see that there are four stamen i am not sure if this flower is not a slight bit uh, is not a slight bit damaged so i'm going to leave the stamen part out but uh, i can see that the ovary is is intact so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, note its size and sketch it out here in my sketchbook and also add a small note about the stamen so that in the future if i find another flower which is in a better condition i can look at it closely and figure out how many stamen there really are I also thought it would be helpful to look a little bit more closely at the leaf to see how the uh, how the pattern of the veins on the leaf is, um, and uh, and yeah, just to just to note down its color to match the color and its size. So so here I have a bigger leaf from the base of the plant, and and I'm just going to sketch it out, note down its size, and then do a color matching. So I've decided to use color pencil for this part of the sketchbook study. I usually, like I said earlier, I usually do not use colored pencils because they can be a little bit time taking and the color mixing um, is, is again a bit of uh, a, a little bit of a tedious process. Uh, but, but I still wanted to show you how different mediums can be used for a single study page. So I'm going to leave this leaf uh, with just this half done in colored pencils and the other half I'm going to leave um, with just a simple darker outline in graphite. So, so this is it for the video. I hope this has been good. If you like it, uh, do subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video and, and come back for more on botanical art. Thank you. Bye.